Hey guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video. I hope you guys are all doing great and fantastic, staying healthy out there. Today guys, we're going to be going over five changes that I would personally make to Resident Evil 4 Remake. And these are improvements to, these are my honest thoughts and opinions where they could put this in to the new remake. And this is in no particular order. I'm going to be giving you guys just my honest thoughts. Please let me know if you guys do have any different opinions or if you guys just want to let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I'd really be interested in knowing. But without further ado, guys, I hope you guys definitely do enjoy this video. And without further ado, see you guys in the next one. So with Resident Evil 4 Remake on the horizon, today I thought I would make a Resident Evil 4 Remake 5 improvements that I would add to the remake. So the first thing that I do want to get out of the way is make characters more developed, give more backstory, give them more meaning, give their death meaning. Some characters do die, I'm not going to be- Now what I mean by that is pretty much some characters I just feel like are underdeveloped. Now the story is right for its own. I don't want to jump into spoilers, but I think the story is solid. Nothing too crazy, nothing too groundbreaking, right? Uh, you know, there is a couple gags here and there, you know, a lot of cringy moments. But one thing that I just want the story to have this time around is more meaning for its characters. I don't know if someone can disagree with me or agree with me on that, but that's just something that I feel like should be added. The second thing that I feel like they should add is make the game scarier. Now, the only scary part to me was the island part of the game. I don't know if some people are going to disagree with me on that. Um, the regenerator enemy was one of the freakiest enemies. And when you're underneath and you have to take out the, uh, it's a boss. I can't remember. It's like a scorpion beast kind of thing. I can't really uh, remember. But yeah, that's my second thing that I really wish was getting... That's the second thing that I really do wish was getting added. Resident Evil 4 Remake really needs to improve on Ashley. To top it all off, she is one of the most annoyingest characters I have ever played in a video game. But she is a grounded, well thought out character and her being the president's daughter and Leon's mission to save her gives the character meaning and that's something that I do really do appreciate. I really do wish that they would fix her sections to make her playstyle more fun and give her more playtime because that's something that we didn't get much in the original and that's something that I really do want them to add into the remake because Ashley, beside her being really annoying and her sections not being really thought out, I really do think that they can give this section of the game more meaning and more playtime and maybe give it a little bit more thought. If you guys can catch my drift, I'm sa essentially saying you know how Ashley's gameplay section, if you guys have played the game, goes. And it's pretty fun, and I'm not going to lie, but she's really annoying, you know. And, well, for the time... It was something that I think a lot of people could live with, right? With the leaks coming out of Claire Redfield being in Resident Evil 4 Remake and Leon getting a beard and some other subtle changes that I just don't want to discuss because I could just have a rant all day about it. But here's the fourth thing that I really think Resident Evil 4 Remake just needs. Stay faithful to the original and not make any bizarre changes and mess up the legacy. Now I'm talking story wise, gameplay changes are very much needed. Especially we need a sensitivity man and better controls. And I think that's a lot, uh, that's a lot of things that Capcom can improve on, right? And I'm pretty sure that's what a majority of the Resident Evil community can agree on, that the game definitely needs better controls. But story-wise, I don't think that they should change anything. Now, the reason why they want to add Claire is to tie in Resident Evil 2 to Resident Evil 3 to Resident Evil Village, which is something that I just disagree on. The timeline is already there resident evil 4 is already canon there's so many events in other resident evil games that transpire that connect to resident evil 4 i mean resident evil 6 and resident evil 5 are connected and they definitely do have mentions and if resident evil 5 is canon to resident evil 8 then you pretty much get the bigger picture now what i'm trying to say is Resident Evil 4 just needs to stay original. Please don't make any bizarre changes to the story. Now, don't get me wrong, I would love to see more sections where characters get more dialogue or more mentions or 
basically just make their character better because there are some pretty flat characters in the game. And my last thing is Resident Evil 4 needs more color in its world. It needs to give the world more life. It's an issue about the original that I've had for a while. Don't get me wrong, the grittiness in Resident Evil 4 really does match the aesthetic for the time. I feel as that's what makes Resident Evil 4 so compelling to a lot of people because it's really really gritty and it's so dead. The fact that Leon go is going into a village that he knows nothing about trying to uncover the mysteries behind it. The atmosphere just really captures the game itself and that's something that I can see Capcom improving on in the remake. That's just everything that I wanted to say in this video. I know it wasn't like a very big detailed list but that's just something that I these are all the things that I just wanted to cover in today's video guys. I hope you guys definitely did agree with me on this. This is something that I think a lot of people can agree with me on but if you guys have your own thoughts please let me know in the comment section below. Other than that guys I will catch you guys in the next